What is the value of x plus y in the figure above? Well, statement number one tells us that w is 95 degrees. So if we know that that's 95, we know that the angle on the other side, the supplementary angle, is 85 degrees. But just knowing that, we have no way to know how much this line tilts and how much that line tilts. And of course, by adjusting those tilts, we could change the measures of all those angles. So only one angle is locked here. So this statement by itself is insufficient to determine an answer. Now forget about that information. Focus on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that angle Z, the angle down here, is 125 degrees. Well, if that's 125 degrees, then this angle here, the supplementary angle, is 65 degrees. So again, now we have this angle locked, but unfortunately, this line and this line, they can vary all over the place. We could swing either one several degrees one direction or the other, and it would change the angles. And so just locking the angle at 65 degrees, that tells us nothing about the values of x and y. So by itself, this is not sufficient. Statement number two by itself is insufficient. Now, because both statements were insufficient, we have to consider what happens when we combine the statements. Well, when we combine the statements, things get interesting. This is 95, so this is 85. This is 125, so this is 65. So now notice that what we have here is an irregular quadrilateral. And I'm just going to call these angles here A and B. We know that the sum of those angles, A plus B plus 65, plus 85, that has to add up to 360 because the sum of the four angles in a quadrilateral has to add up to 360. And so the sum of these two is 150, so it means that A plus B adds up to 210. Well, that's interesting because I notice here, of course, X and A are supplementary. So X plus A is 180. Y and B they're also supplementary, so y plus b is 180. So if we add those up, what we get is that x plus y plus a plus b equals 360. Well, because we have a value of a plus b, we can plug that in and find the value of x plus y. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now, of course, it's very confusing. It can be very confusing to know what you can assume on geometric diagrams in data sufficiency. If you go to magoosh.com, we have a number of videos explaining not only concepts in math, but strategies, including a whole series of videos talking about strategies that you can use on data sufficiency, and videos in particular that tell, talk about things you can assume in geometric diagrams on data sufficiency. So that's of interest. Please check out magoosh.com. Meanwhile, we have statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two, insufficient. Combined, the statements are sufficient. That would be an answer of C.